school skaters. Quick review today. I saw Cocaine Bear yesterday. Uh, I want to do a quick review on it. I thought the movie was a lot of fun. If you know me and you've watched anything on the channel, you know I love monster movies. Um, I, I love goofy movies. I miss the Asylum movies on Sci-Fi Channel. Uh, this is a throwback, fun, old-school, goofy horror comedy. I saw the reviews. It's actually done fairly well on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got like a 70% audience score. Some of the reviews have been positive and negative. Some people said they didn't find it that funny. Uh, or that, you know, scary or gory. Uh, I'll try not to give many spoilers on here. Again, it's the movie's called Cocaine Bear. I mean, you can figure out exactly what the movie is. The trailer is showing you everything you need to know in the movie. You're not going to walk away going, oh, I didn't expect that or I'm surprised. Uh, but, you know, this was movie uh, movie's directed by Elizabeth Banks. Uh, Kerry Russell stars in it as, the, uh, as our main character. Kind of, there's not really one set main character. This was Ray Liotta's last movie. Uh, it was dedicated to him. Um, so you've got a couple of pretty big name actors. You've got some secondary actors that show up um, that are pretty fun. I won't spoil it for you if you haven't seen her. So as you're watching, you can kind of look for those Easter eggs that are kind of fun in the movie. Uh, but it was a good, fun, gory horror comedy. Uh, you know, the premise of the movie is based on a true story. And if you know the true story, it was a, a drug drug um, smugglers plane was going to crash. They dumped the drugs. The guy that was going to um, that was flying the plane, you know, put his parachute on, but his parachute didn't open. Uh, he died. Some of the cocaine got out into the woods and a bear actually ate the cocaine and had a heart attack and died. That, that's the true story. As my wife and I were leaving the theater, we were like, well, that would make like a four minute movie. So they can't do that. So they're going to do this crazy over the top where the bear starts eating cocaine, gets addicted and loves cocaine and just goes crazy trying to get as much as he can. Uh, you know, as the movie plays out, um, here's what I'll tell you about the movie. So up front, I'll tell you, I liked the movie. I would give it a solid, just like, I would actually give it the same score that Rotten Tomatoes have. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's a fun, gory horror comedy. Uh, the problem with the movie is the movie's probably 20 minutes too long. And I've said this a lot in re movies recently. We're stretching movie times out. I mean, again, a movie called Cocaine Bear does not need to be two hours long. There's no reason for this movie to be as long as it is. And there are some parts in the middle um, where they're doing some character development. They're trying to have some fun with the story that, while don't detract from the movie, definitely could have been briefer uh, and could have gotten to the point a little bit quicker. So, you know, when you're watching the movie, kind of keep that in mind. But, you know, there were genuine parts where I laughed out loud and where the audience laughed out loud with me, which I thought was great. Uh, it's always fun being in a live studio, uh, live studio, in a live theater with everybody else, and they're all having fun, uh, which was this, which was what this movie was. Everyone was having a good time. The theater was pretty full. This was the first movie I've seen with a full theater since Smile, uh, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, you know, the pros in the movie, uh, there's some good, good gore in the movie, uh, unexpected gore, like stuff that comes out of nowhere uh, that's really gory. Wouldn't... When my wife and I were talking when we left, the thing with this movie is there's like pockets of gore and then nothing happens for a really long time and then another brief pocket of gore. Um, so that's probably the main demerit of the movie is it's, uh, like I said, it, it's, it starts and stops quite a bit. There's, there's dialogue, there's, you know, story set up. Then there's this really quick pocket of gore, dialogue, story set up, really big pocket of gore. Uh, and then you kind of follow through the same thing. The other thing with this movie that drives me crazy with a ton of movies is the trailer gave away almost everything in this movie like almost everything you're going into that and you're looking for the big set pieces in the trailer and that's what you were finding in the movie the stuff you saw in the trailer and said oh i'm looking for this part to pop up you 100 percent were looking for it was there uh, again nothing that detracted from the movie but you knew exactly what the big set pieces were going to be and again with that you could have made the movie 20 minutes shorter and not lost anything because you kind of lived up what you're trying to do with the cocaine bear movie so like i said overall a fun movie would i recommend it absolutely if you love a horror comedy if you don't mind a good gory movie and you want to have a little bit of fun uh on an afternoon and kill two hours in the winter it was snowing out yesterday my wife and i went and enjoyed it we went to the lux level had a nice burger Watched the movie, had a great time. So, heck yeah, I'd recommend Cocaine Bear. Go and see it. Have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I can't believe Asylum actually is making a movie called, like, Meth Gator to kind of tie into this, which I, I am so looking forward to as someone who loved, like, Grizzly and Alligator and then all the Mega Shark versus Giant Alligator movies. Love them. Lake Placid. Uh, if you're going to give me a giant monster movie or a ridiculous monster movie, I'm all in. I can't wait to go see it. Uh, as always, everybody, if you haven't done so, so far, please hit that like and subscribe button and stay scary.